Hey everyone, it's Liz from Blue and Hazel and glad that you're here. Today I'm going to do a flip through for you of um, Multiplication Facts That Stick by Kate Snow. I reached out to her to see if she would be willing to send me one of these to review for you here on YouTube and um, she sent that in the mail so thank you so much. Um, and I will just go ahead and kind of show you what's on the inside um, and so that you can see if you're thinking about using this program, um, just like the flow of it and what it might look like to use. This is a 10 week program. So as when we finish it, I do plan on um, doing a video that um, I'll eventually link in the description for you of just like a review of actually using this, but today we'll just do a flip through. So for a little background, uh, we homeschool my third grader, second grader and kindergartner and then have a one and a half year old um, bouncing around in there. My now third grader actually used addition facts that stick by Kate Snow when he was like the end of first grade. We actually stopped using our math program for six weeks, just did addition facts that stick. And that was a nice way to be able to do a little bit of math every day instead of regular math plus more math. And so um, that's one thing I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do with this program, because it's a 10 week program, I don't really wanna pause our other math for 10 weeks. Um, a lot of people might use this like as a summer thing, um, but for us, I got a point with him in primary 2022, um, towards the end of 3A, where I feel like we need to kind of work on those um, multiplication facts, because that's just gonna help him go faster and math will take less time and be less frustrating. Yeah, so. Also, we're gonna, um, start adding in some skip counting songs. So we haven't done that yet. And I personally still remember skip counting songs from third and fourth grade, but I only learned skip counting songs for threes, fours, and nines, and they don't go up super high. And so what I ended up doing is just buying um, the Classical Conversations um, album that has the skip counting songs in them. And honestly, the songs are a little obnoxious for me, but I am just banking on the fact that this is going to work. So my plan is we're going to probably um, listen to that playlist, you know, a few times a week, just straight through the, you know, probably the threes all the way through the 15s they go. And so maybe after a month of doing that, we'll see how well they stick. Um, I can let you know if you want. If you want to see the addition facts that stick video I made, I'll put that in the description for you. And if you really like the way that just the Math Facts That Stick series works and you're interested in actually trying out Kate Snow's um, Math with Confidence curriculum, um, that's what I use with my second grader and my kindergartner. You can check out any of those reviews too if you'd like. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And then please let me know in the comments if you have any other tools or tips or tricks for just memorizing those multiplication facts. Um, we are not experts in this. This is my first time taking a child through multiplication and division. And so um, I would love to know all the resources that you have found helpful. I will go ahead and turn the camera around and let's take a look inside multiplication facts at stick. So this program has 10 weeks, like I mentioned, and um, every single week is going to have five days. We might try to just do less of our other math, um, or I might just totally take a 10 week freeze, but I also feel like we're gonna get a little bit behind our other stuff if I do that. I don't know, it's tricky. So uh, we'll probably adjust as we go, but I want to have this be our primary focus because we're going to need this to move on with our current math, um, our current third grade math facts. Every single week, you're gonna cover a new fact family for the multiplication tables. So what I'll go ahead and do first is I will show you kind of what the game boards in the back look like, um, the answer keys, and then we'll go ahead and flip through a week's worth of material in here so that you can see kind of how it's laid out. Then I'll flip to another random chapter and we will do um, another week flip through so that you can kind of get two solid weeks worth of what does this program look like to use. And for prerequisite skills, this is designed for children who have already studied multiplication in a math program but not yet memorized the multiplication facts. It is not meant to be your child's first exposure to multiplication. Um, children need a thorough grasp of what multiplication means. For example, that three times eight means three groups of eight before they're ready to memorize the facts. Um, so this is kind of what we're doing right now in my child's um, Singapore math. They are really digging deep into um, grids and 
you know, what three times eight is, what eight times three looks like, how they're different, but the answer is the same. When it comes to recall, um, we're really slow. And um, so that's what I'm hoping this will do right now. Um, so that's a good point to, to know is just, this is not made to be the only multiplication um, that your child does. This would be like a reinforcement after they've already had an intro to it in their math. Um, every single week on the first day, you're gonna teach a short scripted lesson, tells you exactly what to say, you just follow it. You'll see that in a minute. Um, then you're going to use this dot array to model the multiplication problems so that they visually see what they're learning to memorize. There will be some recitation on days two through five. Um, that's where you are going to recite that week's timetables as a warm up exercise. And at the very beginning of the week, they'll be saying it as they're sliding this um, dot array. So here they would say one times seven is seven, two times seven is 14, three times seven is 21. Four. They would slowly be sliding this L cover down to see the dots as they're saying it as a reinforcement. Eventually, they probably won't need that at all. And every single day, you and your child will play a game that practices new facts. Um, these will provide a lot of practice in a short amount of time. This is what makes this program super fun and unique and why I think that this works so well. You and your child will play the same five games each week. The games build in difficulty over the course of the week so that your child becomes more proficient with each new set of multiplication facts. You'll find directions for each game in the weekly plans. Then they'll have their practice page, which is totally independent. Actually, this part of the book is going to be the actual teaching and the stuff you'll be doing with your child that you'll be reading through. Now this back here, that's all going to be game boards, uh, the dot array, the L cover, you'll use that all the time, your 10 frames, and now you have your board games. Okay, so you see that every single week you have um, the same type of game on day one, same type of game on day two, three, four, and five, um, but they work on a different math fact. So I think you saw that with the flip through and just as a kind of reminder here you have multiplication race bump with the times 10 tables, four in a row with the times 10 tables, then roll and cover, then over under. So every single day, each day of the week, they'll have a practice page. Now, it'll tell you which practice page in that lesson, but you'll just kind of be able to see the progression. Here we have week one, this would be day one. Then we have week one, day two, week one, day three, week one, day four, and then um, week one, day five, right there. So front and back for every single day. So I feel like this is a lot of math problems, which is great repetition, but I think my kid would probably die if he had to do this in addition to other paper math. And so we, we probably will end up pausing our other math while we do this. Right, so just take a look how it progresses here. all the way through week 10. Now answer keys are going to be back here. They look like this if you need them. And then you have the end of the book. Okay, let's go ahead and flip to lesson one. One and two facts. So we get a glance, then you'll see the facts they'll be learning. Day one, what you'll do is you will go ahead and just read through this scripted lesson. I kind of love that as, um, like when I didn't know how to teach addition at all and we used addition facts that stick, the scripted just was so nice and it it's really makes it so, it makes it just so easy for you. Um, then you'll have your dot array you'll be using, how to set it up, it tells you. Um, again, just 
say exactly what's there on the page. Then you'll get to play your board game for the day. This is the uh, materials you'll need, the board game for the times two tables. I definitely like to make copies of the game boards just because um, it's flat and I can quickly reference like the directions without crushing the game board. I don't know, just it's easier for me to make a copy. Um, then you play the game. Here's the directions on how to play. Then your child gets to do the independent practice. Week one, day one, front, back, done for the day. Then on um, day two, that would be the next day, you would review, doing and saying exactly what it says here. Going down. So there's a lot of review actually, much more than I remember in addition facts that stick. Then you have that day's game, which is playing multiplication bump and directions are here. You would actually use that same board game right here, but in there'd be a new spin on it. So that's why the directions for that are right here. And then independent practice. Have your child complete pages 2A and 2B in week one section. So that's where you would come back to here and you would come week one, 2A, 2B, and that's their homework for the day. So this would be the next day, this would be the next day, this would be the next day, and then you're on your new week. Okay, so coming through day three, you're gonna practice the times two facts. Use the L cover to show just one row of the two dots on the array. Um, going down, showing the two times two facts, and recite the times two tables. Then you're going to play four in a row for the times two tables. Materials you'll need, the four in a row board game. So we'll come back here and we'll get the four in a row, four in a row board game in the back with the times two tables. And you'll need a deck of cards and 20 small counters per player with a different color for each player. It tells you the directions how to play that and then they have their worksheet, which would be in the back. Um, so then day four, you have your warm up. Recite the times two tables, you know, one times two, two times two, three times two. Then you have your practicing your one times one facts. Obviously that's gonna be super easy, but it won't be when you're in the larger numbers. Um, going down, say the script, um, and then you get to your new game, play, roll, and cover times two. So that's when we would come back and do the next game. Then after that game, um, independent practice, so they would do their worksheet. Day five, same thing, you're gonna have warm up, recite times one and times two tables. Then you'll have um, practice multiplication facts written vertically. You'll introduce the written multiplication chart and how that works, it explains that. Then you're gonna play the board game play over and under for the times two. So this board game that day, and then they'll have their worksheet in the back. Now on week two, you're on to the times three facts. And it gives you kind of the week at a glance, what you'll be doing, and then day one, same thing, scripted, just read from the top. Here you're gonna be using the 10 frames that are provided in the back, introducing the, the times three facts, and using the times two facts to learn the times three facts. Okay, then you're gonna have um, multiplication race, for times three. So same exact board games again, except for, for the times three. And you can see the numbers are different on here now. And then they'll have their worksheet again. Day two, mental addition practice, um, if needed. Um, the warm up, recite the times three tables. So one times three, two times three, three times three. Play multiplication bump game and um, independent practice worksheet, done for the day. Day three, mental addition practice if needed. You're reciting the times three tables, playing your game four in a row, and then the worksheet. Day four, mental addition practice if needed. Warm up um, with the times three tables, play roll and cover the board game, and the worksheet. Day five, kind of same thing. Warm up and game and 
worksheet. So it's gonna follow that same exact pattern um, for you. Times nine facts, times seven facts, and hope that helped you. Please give a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will leave the link for where you can buy multiplication facts that stick in the description. So you can buy this on Amazon. You can also find this at The Well-Trained Mind. The Well-Trained Mind is the only place that you can find the PDF version of this, and they do run sales, 40% uh, off sales, several times throughout the year, so check for that. And then, yeah, be sure to stick around. I will be doing a review video of just how this actually worked for us. Um, which you will probably not see for at least 10 weeks.